YouTube. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Hey, man. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Look, bro. So, in every one of my streams, bro, I have to get at least 40 questions about builds, centers, post scores, playmakers, sharps, shot. It is. What's the best height? What's the best weight? What 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 what, what position should I? So look, I'm gonna make a little. I'm gonna make a make a whole lot of videos. You know, since I played a little bit, you know, talk to a lot of you know toxic, you know, um, <laughs> post scores, you know, stretch bigs, you know, I get to see all these people in action, you know, verse them, you know, I'm very well, I'm well, I'm well informed on. What is the toxic, most OP, cheesiest way to win with these type of builds? And what's the best version of what's good, nigga? So I know a lot of y'all, you want to be fucking high reps with max badges. You ain't got the time to grind this, that, blah, blah, blah. So if you just want to buy an account high overall with max badges and shit, hit up my man Sports Gaming. And also tell him I sent you. And if you want the process to go by faster, my guy, send me proof of that. Will always send me proof that you hit him. And I, I can make the process go a whole lot faster. You know? Yeah? So, yeah, man. If you want to buy or sell your 2K19 account, hit up Sports. His link will be in the motherfucking description. Each type. So, look. Hope a, hopefully a dev sees this. And, um, I don't know, bro. But but these hoes need to get patched, bro. And look, I'm giving y'all this. Don't pull up on me with a build I told you how to make. You, you gotta stop, okay? Don't, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna help y'all with the sharps, the whatever you need, my guy. Just let me know down in the uh, comment section below. And you let me know your top three post scores, okay? I'm gonna let you the, I'm gonna let, I'm not, I'm gonna let you guys know the best build how to make them wingspan weight all that shit okay so y'all y'all stay tuned watch the full video and um if we get this vid to 3,000 likes man i'm gonna I'm drop a uh some um gift codes on fucking twitter so i guess follow my twitter turn on um little uh post notifications on twitter i don't know but look so number three okay and wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, 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 before I get into my my spiel. Look, okay, now listen, bro. Cause I, a lot of y'all been getting offended over the years. I think I've been going about it wrong, man. You know, of, of, of course, a build in the wrong hands is ass, but a build in the right hands, <laughs> it's pretty toxic. So that that that's how that's what I'm talking about, bro. Keep in mind, guys. I barely lose, and I I pick up new people every time I play complete random guys i give niggas chances all types of shit okay i rarely you know only time i'm really losing is if someone throws the game i'm like really never losing this is just from you know experiences and i didn't like how he scored a few buckets you know i'm not getting beat down i'm big swan and if i played offline i'd never lose you feel me because people pull up with exact lineups to try and drop Young Swan off. But, you know, but look, listen, listen, listen. This ain't no diss to any of y'all. You still can be good. But I'm just saying your build makes the game easier for you to be effective. And you have more, way more bailout than all these other archetypes and builds. And it, it, it zaps the fun out the game. You're not looking at it from a wide perspective. Okay, seriously, it really kills the game. Why, why do you think 2K15 and 16 was so were so much fun, bro? Because it was ISO based, and there weren't no, nothing that could just it just didn't take skill. If you were better than everyone, you're destroying them. Bad, bad, real skill movement. But now you could just get a build, post spin, dunk, and like like. It's, it's corny, bro. You got to have right archetype lineups and, you know, you could zigzag, shoot from stupid deep. It's dumb, bro. But look, they'll never go back, but whatever. We just got to accept it, bro. Move on. But look, so number three, <laughs> the post-scoring shot creator. 
okay? Well, actually, it's the shot creating post score. It's post first, shot creating second, man. Okay? A lot of y'all made them wrong. You feel me? A lot of you made them wrong. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how to make them. You make them a center, okay? You don't make them a power forward because a lot of people think, oh, power forward. I'm gonna have some speed, blah blah. Man, it's not. It's not really gonna matter. You feel me? It doesn't matter. Do you want to dick niggas and still be able to hit at a high percent and move basically the same speed and be able to out rebound everyone still, especially in the park in the twos? Guess what? Make them 7'3". <laughs> yeah? Max his wingspan. Max his weight. Post scoring shot. This is the number three post score. Okay? It's not the best one. Okay? He'll be able to shoot middies at a super high efficient rate. It doesn't matter. Post hop shot on anyone. That's you going in. You know, picking and, pick and rolls, picking and pops. You don't even got to pop to the three. Pop to the midi. Be hella toxic. You <clears throat> cash that hole. You know? You can hit threes consistently there's a lot of um post shots out there that are very toxic these guys dominate the 1v1 court they have the highest win percents on 2k there's a reason for that it's not oh they're the, they're the best it's a very op build okay anything with post scoring first god tier okay now look i'm gonna tell you about their badges bro post spin technician hall of fame drop stepper hall of fame up and under hall of fame okay that's all their hall of fame badges mid-range dead eye gold difficult shots gold so i mean you can even fade with this guy bro you can, all that all this shit activates when you do any post move bro you got tireless score gold relentless finisher gold brick wall gold so not only are you a super offensive guy and now with max weight max height and max wingspan, you you be able to rebound over most builds because no one really, they ain't max they arms. They ain't max they height. You feel me? That you be able to really be toxic and still shoot. You know? And you can screen very well. You got pick and roll. You got and look. Look, Zach, Zach, Zach. I know, I know you trying to be cool and shit, like. Oh, let's give post scores dimer. Like, hey man, in today's game, there ain't no post scores, bro. But now, what you're creating is you're 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 nerfing the builds that take skill, all the playmakers and shit. You're giving post scores badges that they're not supposed to have. So now, a post scorer could just like hold L2, and then like he, and then like a stretch big can start doing that glitch bounce and shit, and they could just teleport. And then you can hit them, and then the, the stretch big that could already shoot super contested shots. Now he gets a dimer boost, bro. Number two. Okay? This guy could be better than number one. Okay? Now look, listen, 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 listen. Number two. He could be better than number one. It's personal preference. Y'all let me know y'all top three post scores. So. You're gonna wanna make this post score a center. You're gonna wanna make him 7'3, max weight, max wingspan, max everything. Again, okay? <laughs> His primary skill is gonna be post scoring. His secondary skill is gonna be driving and finishing. He is a slashing post scorer, guys. You know? So look, listen to this, bro. So. <laughs> No need to put rebound in anything because you're the biggest, you know, possible, right? Relentless finisher, Hall of Fame. Up and under, Hall of Fame. Bruiser, Hall of Fame. So, so when guys are running through your screens and shit, they're just losing stamina. And you got brick wall, Hall of Fame. <laughs> you can be a little faster because you got driving and finishing in your shit, you feel me? You have posterizer, gold. Pick a roller, gold. Post spin technician, gold. Drop stepper, gold. So, whenever you spin and do all that, you're gonna be able to make a lot of contested shit because you got relentless finisher, Hall of Fame. And you know, you got you got a lot of other other badges, man. You could check it yourself. You get rim protector, silver, and it's just they all these builds get defensive stopper. <laughs> now this build will still be able to hit middies, guys. 
and you know you could just do a lot of post shit a lot of up and unders a lot of you know get under the rim and it's it's again you get stupid high win percents with this shit okay you're gonna be a real beast in the inside almost no one's gonna be able to stop you unless he has lock in his build or you're stupid as shit okay and it lock has to be first you know um you could really dick anyone. And look, another thing about these post scores, bro, is, well, well, matter, matter of fact, matter of fact, let's get into the the number one toxic post score build, guys. Okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hey, what you're gonna want to do with this guy? <laughs> Seven three. <laughs> Max weight, <laughs> max wingspan, max everything, you know? This guy, primary skill, pure post score. Oh, wait, hold on, post score. Secondary skill, post score. This is the number one. You don't know why, bro? You don't know why? <clears throat> because, so y'all know takeover, right? <sighs> Y'all know TakeOver, right? So, you know when you're a pure archetype, your shit lasts long as shit. So basically, with all these post scores, you make three buckets. When you got Microwave, you basically in TakeOver. In TakeOver, you're unstoppable. But now, guess what? Since you're a pure post, your shit lasts even longer. So if you play twos or ones, once you hit TakeOver, you're basically in TakeOver for the rest of the game. You about to finish them. After three buckets, after having one of the most bailout, the, one of the most, the, the, the most bailout build in the game, my guy. One of them. Like, it's, 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 the skill gap to use one of these guys is very low, okay? I don't know what the devs are going to do. I don't, I don't think they, I don't know if they're paying attention or what, man. But once you hit takeover, shit's over. You know, skill doesn't matter anymore. Archetype matters. That's the most, that's the thing that's wrong with the game. A lot of people, you know, they, they think, oh, this is why I'm moving on from 2K. Archetype shouldn't matter as much, guys. Skill should, okay? Skill, you know, all the archetype shit cute, but what you could do with these badges, the, the, these builds, bro, like, it's just, it zaps the fun out the game. Now look, post spin technician, Hall of Fame. And look, look, and also with all these post scores, see a lot of y'all, y'all don't know, man. You can speed boost with them. You can move with the same speed as a playmaker with a post score, guys. It's very cheesy, very. And while you're speed boosting around, bro, at any time you could just fade. And keep in mind, you have all of the most toxic badges in the game. Okay? All you got to do is make three buckets. Game. Come on. 2K ain't ever been about this shit, bro. Drop Stepper, Hall of Fame. Up and Under, Hall of Fame. Bruiser, Hall of Fame. Brick Wall, Hall of Fame. Difficult Shots, Gold. Relentless, Gold. Mid-range, Silver, a whole lot of badges, man. You 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 can you can look at all this shit yourself, man. You know, I don't know, man. Uh, this shit very discouraging. And look, 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 look. Okay, I know, I know, I'm Bill Sensei. Don't pull up on me. <laughs> if you go pull up on me with these builds, make sure I have a lineup that that can defend this. If you f with me, if you if you if you trying to get a match, pull up with the same archetypes that i have on my team bro okay like if you're trying to prove you're better than me and play you know but but if you just if you're scouting me on stream oh we're gonna run it like this we're gonna get this build and this build and we're just we're gonna completely just over we're, we're gonna have this uh, super archetype advantage we're gonna get a w and oh we're better than no bitch your team beat me and some random niggas. That don't mean nothing. On Moses. <laughs> but anyways, man. Y'all let me know y'all top three, three post scores. 
Y'all let me know what um archetypes or builds you need advice on, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Let me know your top three. I'm out this whole Turn on post notifications. Subscribe if you know. Drink a gallon of water a day. And um, yeah, man. Adios. Hey.